You can find an overview of all my videos at www.genesispc.com and you click on the button videos on YouTube and you get a complete listing of all the videos I created for you on Excel on Excel VBA on Access Access VBA and VB script tips when you have to create long SQL or SQL statements in Access VBA you may run into a lot of trouble if you don't follow very specific rules. I, I'm just using a very simple SQL statement. It's a long one on purpose. And later on I will show you how you can cut that into pieces. Uh, if you want to know more about this kind of stuff, I would just say you have to either know access well, and I made a CD-ROM. You can find it on genesispc.com. It gives you all the basics of how access works. And if you want to know more about how to do this in VBA, then you need another CD-ROM that I created. And that shows you all this kind of information, genesispc.com. So how are we going to handle this? This is not a very useful SQL statement, but I'm just showing you the rules where things can go wrong. SQL statements are strings. That means they start with double quotes and they end with double quotes. And then we open a record set based on that SQL statement. And if we don't find records, then we tell the user no records found. Otherwise we show the first record whatever the city is and whatever the country is and we close the record set. So the problem is in this SQL statement. It's a very long one. Double quotes you open. Select. And then we select from certain fields. City, country, company name. I, I warn you if the company name in the table is split you have to put that inside brackets, otherwise you don't have to. And then we say from the table suppliers. Typos are very important here. If they occur, the thing will not run. Under a condition where the country is like, you could say where the country equals United Kingdom or the United States or whatever, I'm going to use a like statement. And a like statement needs to know another quote. But because the quote is inside the quotes, we do a single quote, then a double quote, and then we ask the user, what, what country do you want to use? Space, ampersand, space. Make sure you have space around the ampersand. Spaces count. But don't put a space between the single quote and the double quote here. For then it will look for something that starts with space U or space S. So we ask the user, which country do you want? Let's say by default the U for UK and USA. And then we need to hook on space ampersand a literal asterisk. Close the single quote that you started here. And then close your string. If you forget any of these steps, you will be in trouble. I'm going to run this step by step. F8. It fills the, the long string. It says which country do you want? Let's say you. Then it opens that record set. If the record count in this case is zero, that means there is a first record. If it's not zero, then we go to no records. Otherwise show me the first city and the first state. In that record, so we know it worked. However, if I make mistakes, let's say I had forgotten that space there, and I run the thing again, the problem is that the compiler cannot test this string. string. Whatever is in that string, it accepts for granted. And now it says I cannot do anything more, so I'm going to end that situation. That information was not very c clear, but I want you to know what the problem is. If you make a typo, 
for instance, I forgot the S, I will be in trouble again. It just says I cannot find a table like that, but it will not always specify where the problem is. What is so clumsy about this long line? First of all, you can't read it well. So I'm going to split it. And we do that in the next subroutine. How did I split it here? I said select, this is all the same, from table suppliers, close your string. Space, ampersand, space, underscore, and enter. And then I start my second part on the next line. It, it's like the string is continuing. Where, country, like, etc. All of this is the same as before, so don't stare at that. But notice that this is the important difference. I can split it in two lines. So I, I'm going to run this one now. It, it should work fine. Let's say this time I want to, uh, to look for a country like B. And it found Brazil, Sao Paulo. Done. Be careful if you do this, that the where condition should really be separated by a split space. If you forget that one, what's going to happen? Spaces are very important. It says there is a problem in the from clause. Is it really? Yeah, no, no, no not really. Because, it, yes, it's looking for table suppliers where. Immediately hooked onto table suppliers. There is no table with such a name. So if I fix that, it will be fine. And of course, similar stories here. Don't forget that space. Don't forget that space. Don't put too many spaces, though, for that will be trouble, too. So if you ever forget a space here, the machine will correct that automatically. But it will not always do that kind of errors. So then there is one more solution. Instead of splitting that one line in two lines, three or four lines, I can do it in steps, in pieces. And that's what I did here. SSQL is, and this is the third part of my statement. And then I reset SSQL to what I had already. Hook onto it, space, ampersand, space. And then I do my where clause, or order clause, or whatever you want. Again, the same rules as before. Make sure that there is space before the word where. Otherwise, you will be in trouble again. Does this one work? Of course it does, unless you made a typo. So in this case, it will give me again London, United Kingdom. All of this should work fine. If you follow the rules, be strict on your spaces, not too many spaces, not too few spaces, and the rest is peanuts. But again, as I told you before, you may need to know much more about how to do all of this in VBA. This CD-ROM will do miracles for you.